so we've got a problem guys. Remember the little white pea chicks we hatched out? Well, they have gotten massive. When we put them in this little shelter about four months ago, they were really little and they had plenty of space in here. Somehow they fit in that door back there. Whenever I come over here, they hide in the little sheltered area in here. I don't know how they all fit in here. There's four of them. So they have gotten really big and we need to find a solution. I, I think I've got it. The whole goal of keeping these guys in here for their first three, four months was to keep them off the ground, to keep them from getting parasites. Peafowl are very susceptible to dying, like ours have in the past, when they were on the ground and they were getting worms and parasites. So now I can have them on the ground, but I need something to house them in. I don't have anything available. And recently, we were sent a shed in a box and a deck box in a box. Basically a storage container and a shed. And we need it for the pea chicks. And then our last problem is where are we gonna put it? So we've got this area behind our big barn where we just keep all of our junk. We keep trailers and pallets and T-posts and metal. And then we've got our hay bales right there. We need to disperse the hay bales to the cow barn and the horse barn. And if I get that out of here, I think I can put that shed and build an attached run right out here. So let me see if I can get that moved out of here today. And then let's pour some concrete to be able to put our shed up and we'll get the pea chicks a new house. Here we go. So right here we've got Maisie and we've got Poppy. And as far as we know, Maisie is pregnant and due to calf with her first calf this no this November, which is just in a little over a month. And then we got Dolly here. Dolly is unfortunately not pregnant. She We showed in that video where we got Maisie back that Randy that brought her back from his farm tried to breed Dolly and unfortunately it was not successful. She went into heat the next month. Hopefully all goes well. We'll have Maisie and milk here in about a month. Some of the hay was rotted, so we gave it directly to the cows. The rest of it, we moved into the cow barn to feed them over winter. And now we could clear the rest of the pallets behind the barn. So yesterday we got this all cleared out. We got our frames in. Basically have a section so where I can get this building. Should land right in the middle of this concrete. We'll have dirt on the inside, dirt on the outside, but we'll have concrete to have something to tie the building into. Hopefully keep them somewhat warm in the winter. Now I'm not a construction or concrete channel, so be easy on me in the comments because I don't know what I'm doing, but I've done concrete before, it works. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not putting a house on it. What do you think, your first time doing concrete? Good. Is it pretty interesting? Yeah. Yeah, we gotta work fast, don't we? How many bags did we use? 25 bags! Wow. So we initially brought out like 12 bags and it got us about halfway around. So sure enough, it took every one of our remaining concrete bags that we were using for the posts for the horse yard. So it's day three of our peacock house build here. We're getting ready to take off the frames. We put Eli's name here in the concrete last night. So we're gonna take off the, the forms here and then we'll start to put together this house. All right, so we're starting to put together this shed. And if you can believe it, it actually came in four of these fairly small boxes. And this is a 10 by 10 shed that looks like this. Guy looks like double doors that open each way. So we can put this up here on the side and then have an attached run right off to the side. So this is box one, two, three, and four. So I'm gonna to start to open up these boxes, see what we've got, see if we can start to get this frame in so we can get this building up, hopefully before tomorrow. Today's video is sponsored by Patio Well, whose mission is to simplify your life and store your patio. Their products include metal sheds and deck boxes for outdoor storage. And today we're gonna to put together one of their 10 by 10 foot metal sheds. But they also have plastic sheds coming soon. Off to a good start. We've got instructions and some gloves to deal with the sharp metal edges. As I was building the shed, I followed the instruction manual, as every guy does. But when I hit a part that I was unsure of, there was a QR code that led to a Patio Well YouTube video of that exact snippet to see how to do it. This came in handy in a couple parts where I wanted to see the pieces up close. So I've got the base of it in place and we're starting to put the sides on. We've got the corners on. And now we're starting to make the, the upper level, the structure, so everything can attach to it. A little tricky to do it by myself over there, but I was able to get it done. So let me show you how we do this and then we'll start continuing to work our way around the shed. All right, so we're on day two of this build and we've got it all, I guess you'd say framed in at this point where it's got the upper and lower section. So all we need to do now is screw in all of the, the middle pieces here on the outside and then we'll be able to start working on the, the roof and then the doors. So I'm gonna work on this backside and get this metal so we can start closing in this shed or peacock house. 
And the cool thing is they gave these little washers, so you can just put these screws right through here, and then it is a quick way, they snap right off. Quick way to do washers with screws. All right, so we're at door number, there goes my panel. So for example, on this side, there's seven panels. Right here in the middle would be the middle panel. And so I want a door right there, but not on this side. That's the wall. I want it on this side so they can go out into the run. So I'm gonna to try to make it bigger. I was gonna put a, a run chicken door on there, but I'm a little worried our peacocks get bigger than chickens and they're already as big as, if not already bigger than chickens. All right, so. there's our door. Pretty exciting. This is going to help frame up the door. It'll give us a nice separation from the walls to the door. Let's see how this goes in. Now I finally feel like I'm getting somewhere. This is going to be the, the start of the roof. So hopefully this will give it some more structure. All right, we're getting ready to put this, the big piece, the spine across the middle here. Now will support all the roof. We're going to have a couple other roof supports, but this is the big one. All right, can you hand me some screws? All right, so we're out here working late. We got to get this building done and so we can start on the, the run tomorrow. And so I'm up here on top of the roof, getting that all finished up. And I'll have it done here in just a little bit, but Uriah volunteered to come out and help me get all the screws and washers ready. So thank you for your help, bud. You're welcome. And then he's he's got his cool Spider-Man outfit on and, and then he's helping me uh, find the panels each time I need to get to the next panel. So we'll finish this up and we'll see you in the morning. So while I'm finishing up the shed and starting on the outdoor run, Becky and the boys are putting together the deck box. We'll show you what this will be used for at the end of the coop build. Any guesses? Be sure to leave them below. And so be sure to use our link in the description. You can get 15% off using our discount code WHH15. That's WHH15 for 15% off anything you get from it Patio. Pretty good. Whoa! Hey, you guys got a new bedroom. Congrats. Yeah. You, you moving in? You gonna move in? I'm staying in. What do you guys think of the box? Cool. Does it go up? You show me yeah. how it goes up and down. Do it. Bye. We lock them in that way. Oh Got pneumatic uh, lifts there. Awesome. Well, good job, guys. All right. Well, we got it done just before dark, and so we're gonna move the the pea chicks in tonight, and then we'll give you a tour tomorrow and show you everything that we did throughout this entire coop. The first thing we need to do, we haven't had a static coop in a while, so we're gonna put some wood chips in here. Becky put down some some garden cloth, landscaping cloth. Keep anything from, hopefully keep the parasites down, and then the wood chips should help with that too. So guys, go ahead and spread them out. I think the pea chicks are ready for this. Oh yeah. You can sleep I think it's bigger than your bedroom, isn't it? So for the first month, the pea chicks were inside the brooder. And then for the next two and a half, three months, they've been in their long, off the ground brooder slash coop. And now they're ready to move into a 10 by 10 shed with a 10 by 10 run. I think they're gonna love it. There's Piper, our pied pea chick. So we got our four here. We'll put them in tonight and see how they do in their new house. Okay, there's Piper here. All right, guys, go ahead and set them on a roosting bar or set them on the ground wherever you'd like. Do you think we at least have one male? Do you think any of the white ones are males? Well, if I'm going off tails and they've probably taking their tail their head feathers off in that other coop but we got short like tail short white. tail and then maybe a long tail white and then this one piper ah. is definitely a male we're gonna have to get ourselves a, a white peacock if we have three pea hens right there ah. Ah. Oh. oh who's that that was the middle one right there ah. Ah. Oh, yep there's a male all right i think ah. that one's a peacock right there don't they all start honking now? <laughs> We're in trouble. See? Two and two would be perfect. 
Say night night. Say night night. So the peafowl made it through the night, but they've not come out into the run yet. They're staying inside. They're too scared. So we're gonna we're gonna move them in. So they've been staying here. It's been about half a day, so we want to make sure they get out there and they're able to get food and water and then enjoy the new space. I know you guys are scared of it, but let's don't jump. Wait. Don't jump. Oh boy. What do you think of all these roosting bars, huh? Is that pretty neat? Yeah. 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 Now when you look at his head, the one with the green head, it looks kind of cool. Yeah, it looks really colorful and out here. So I've had help from everybody on this. I had Eli help me with the, the concrete. What'd you help me with? Putting up the ceiling and the walls. Yeah. And then Becky and I got the run done yesterday. We had initially framed it in with some four x four posts. We're trying to make it really strong and sturdy and easy to build off of. We put two types of fencing on here. One because the, the fence is six feet tall and I could only find hardware cloth that was about four feet. So we put on the two by four wire at six feet tall and then we wrapped it in the hardware cloth on the lower four feet. I think the, the peafowl would have been fine with just the two by four fencing, but if we ever want to move something else in here where they have baby chicks, pheasants, mandarin ducks, anything that's really small, we don't want them to get through the, the two by four fencing. So we put the hardware cloth on the lower part and then hopefully that'll deter any predators from trying to reach through and grab anything in here. And then Becky had a, an idea for the roof where we just did the, the same clear polycarbonate that we did on the greenhouse. And so we thought that'll be great if it rains or if it snows that they can still come out here and enjoy it. And that way all year long, they'll be able to get sunlight through here, but then hopefully it'll protect them some from rain and snow and they can still come outside. And so that was Becky's idea to do that. I think that was a, a great idea. And then besides the shed and the shed door, we've got a run door right here. Initially thought about just covering it all completely, but we'd have no way to access the run. So if we need to go in and get the birds and they were all outside, needed some way to go in here and get it and it has automatic closed hinges it's something that I'm I really wanted to be careful with with our kids because they may run in here and decide to go in here and I don't want them leaving the door open and just letting the peafowl fly out somebody comes in here the door will automatically shut and then we have a latch and a lock for it to close it up. Now, I wanted to show you this shed from Patio Well. Initially, I wasn't sure how big 10 by 10 would be for our birds, but this is really spacious. This is big in here. And so we decided to put some roosting bars in here on some four by four posts. We're doing some roosting bars for the peacocks. And we thought we'd use these rounded logs that we have stored up. So they have a natural rounded curve. It makes it more comfortable for them. Just gonna line it up like that and screw it in. I'll probably put a, an automatic feeder over here on the wall as we get closer into winter so they can stay in here and eat if it's too cold to go outside. There isn't much light in the evening. We're tempted to open up one of these panels a little bit and maybe put some clear polycarbonate something up here to create like a skylight, but we do have ventilation on both sides. If you've ever been around peafowl, they can really stink. So I'm really glad for that. Really easy to put this shed together myself. It took about two and a half days. And then they provided this deck box as well. And so we're able to store some feed in here for the, the peafowl so we can keep it right here and get it into them as quickly as possible. And of course, there's a number of ways you can utilize these if you just wanna keep all of your patio equipment in there and then store all of your cushions. We were tempted to do that, but we thought, hey, we needed a house for our peafowl, so this worked out great for it. Now here in the run for the peafowl, of course we got it secured all the way around with the wire fencing. We've even got it like in the corners. Want to make sure nothing could get through over there or over here. And then we put more roosting bars so they could have fun out here as well as having some feeders and waters in here. How fun. So we are really excited about this space. What do you guys think of it? Now this was a pretty big project. It took us about a week to put it all together from start to finish. So it's been quite the project to take care of our peafowl this year from building the, the little brooder to building now their new coop and run and then eventually, hopefully a pair of these can move into the aviary and then we'll figure out what to do with the other pair. We might end up free ranging them next year. The next thing you guys might be wondering about are the little pea chicks, Blue and Bell's pea chicks that we've been keeping in the indoor brooder because now that the white pea fowl are moved out, we can move those two in their outdoor space. We just spent some time cleaning it out and getting it ready for them. 
Now, we've had these two P-Chicks in here for about two months. And it's a pretty good amount of space, but we'd love to get them outside so we can get some sun during the day. Now these guys, unlike the other ones, you can see so much more about them with their coloring. The green's still starting to grow on it. Starting to get some green, getting some long tail. And I had a, a little YouTube short a little while ago where I showed these guys when they were little and one of them was already starting to do his display. So we're pretty sure we have at least one peacock in the pair. Look how cute that head, the head feathers are. A little bit of green coming in on the neck as well. Tail's not quite as long, but we'll see if we've got a peahen or a peacock here. All right, let's take them out to their house. Looks like that one's a boy. All right, we can put them in here first. Let me put him in here. So that's their little hideaway, their little coop to get out of the weather. And then Uriah is gonna get that one right in there. Shut it right. Go ahead, you're good. you're good. Always takes them a little while to figure out this flooring. It is a, a mesh floor, so the poop will go through, but it's really tight, so it actually is pretty easy for them to walk on, but it always seems to take them a day or two to get used to it. And these guys are much bigger than when we put the, the white pea chicks in here. They were real little. These guys are probably about a month older since we had to move the other ones out of here before we could get these guys in. And then as soon as they get big enough, we might be able to move them in with the, the white pea fowl. And so now the pea chicks are moved into their, their new little brooder coop. We can come back to the, the big pea fowl coop and watch the four of them enjoy their new space. So what do you guys think? It's pretty neat. It turned out really good. What's your favorite part of it all? Just having the, the branches in here, have them so that it's all covered, that they are protected from the weather. I have a cool place to hang out. I think this is awesome. What do you think, Bella? You like peacocks? Can you say peacock? Yeah.